Miss Typo. Oh, <laughs> mor. Welcome back to Way Beyond Pattaya channel. We're still in Santiago, Chile. I just moved to another hostel, which I'm actually shocked. And I would like to show you how it looks like. Like that. Is that shocking? It's like huge, really huge. It's called La Casa Roja, which means um, the red house. One of the colonial houses from like way long time ago and I would like to show you guys insight anyways you guys it's my birthday today Friday the 13th I think we're gonna be walking around a little bit check out the town where we haven't been yet and then we might hate downtown a little bit have some by the day in we're gonna go hit some good spots some good food just to make myself feel like home on my birthday. There's so much of gravity around here in Santiago, Chile. Sometimes I'm not so sure if it's actually just the normal art thingy or if it's some kind of protest thing because so many things going on around here. It's been like every day I hear some noise and now some loud people push, push, push. not even sure what's happening but we're already in the center heading toward Plaza de Almas and that is why it is so busy around here. Hola, vaso grande por favor. Un poco, poco mote por favor. Gracias. Got it. Okay, we're gonna go find some spot to have our mote con puesillo. Flavor, you guys, it's like sweet and a little bit sour, and it's so refreshing. And at the same time, you could actually like chew it, just like boba tea. Chilean samba drink made of peach, like a dry peach, with a little bit of hot sweet right there. This brand, Copique, everywhere, every single corner. So you're gonna find it for sure. All right, look at that. Can't beat it. It's my birthday peach right here. What is this? But it's actually wheat. It has wheat. The texture is really like a bit chewy. With the drink and all this combined, I like it. Me gusta, me gusta. The business area is just actually right around the corner from the Plaza de Amas and we're coming to this one. One of my favorite cafe. Oh, hola! Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Americano, por favor. Americano? All right, you guys, here comes the part where I would feel like home on my birthday in Santiago, Chile. We are walking toward this Thai restaurant called Thai Isan. I've done some research a little bit and then people say this one is the most authentic you could find around here. Good chance for me to satisfy myself with some good Thai food. Not too sure if it's like that good. I haven't been eating Thai food for at least three to four months, I believe. At the same time, I think it's a really good chance for me to just review Thai food. If you're a local living here, if you're a traveler traveling through here and craving some Asian food or some good Thai food, you know like where to come get it. Oops. It's located a few blocks from um, Plaza Yungay. 15, 20 minutes walk from Plaza de Amas. So not that bad of a location. Hola. Oh. 
¿Dónde? Este es bueno. Uh, oh, here is perfect. It's like just me here. Thai Isan. Thai is actually like the adjective for Thailand, Thai people, Thai whatever, Thai food. Isan means um, the not even Thai part, which mostly they look like all this spicy food. They're known or they're famous for Song Tam or Papaya salad. So I really hope they're gonna have it. Yeah, I don't think they have like a papaya salad or something like that. Not that many of the menu items, but at the same time, <laughs> I'm already like salivating. And it's hot also here. <laughs> a really big plus is that like, I don't know if you have like same feeling when you go to eat at the Japanese restaurant. You expect the chef or at least people who work there to be Japanese people. Indian restaurant, you expect there to be like Indian people like serving you at least. When I came here to Thai restaurant, I actually expect Thai people serving me. And if there are Thai people working here, I think it's a family business or something. So. I was planning on ordering like a few stuff so that we can try like uh, how's the rice here, how's the pad thai here, how's we are pad thai, and how the curry here or something like that so that I can get the idea if the food here is actually like Thai Thai, like good or not. Khao pan, chao pa, this like throughout everywhere so I don't order that. Um, I ordered the pad ka pao, which is the stir fry with basils and like uh, spicy. I order level 7, like picante Thai, it's like Thai spicy. So I'm not sure how spicy that's gonna be, right? And then, where do you <laughs> pad thai? I ordered pad thai with shrimp, not spicy at all because usually pad thai, they don't serve it spicy in Thailand. For the curry part, I get kiawan, which is the green curry with chicken. That's the way to go, kiawan, chicken. As it's like uh, some kind of soup or curry, I wanna like slurp it a little bit. So I get the picante medio, which is like level 4. They have level 1 and 2 7. So we got 7, we got 4, and we got like 0. I'm excited you guys! I'm not gonna be able to finish all this. This is a lot of food. I ordered just three of them. The pak kapao or the stir fried bisel, gang kiawan, or the green curry, and that pad thai. Now let's talk price. San Diego Chile would cost me in total with one drink, which is just water, 25,000 Chilean pesos. But in Thailand, if you get this, wow, this looks really good. So let's say, For 500 Thai baht, that would actually be like uh, 15, 16 dollars. Since it's my birthday, I'm gonna sing the birthday song for myself. Another dish right here. Don't you think it's crazy? I asked for some time, I got some time, huh? But usually, like the some time we use the green papaya, I think this is. Getting crazy. I don't know how to finish this. Okay. Birthday song already. Oh, before eating, before eating. I need to make a wish. Birthday wish. My work this year because I've been wo working on like on my channel both on Steam, which is my blogging thing and with the video also. And also on YouTube, I've been working for two years. It's been growing slowly. A few weeks ago when I started to put like video about Peru. I think it's that like um, growing quite rapidly so I'm really thankful for that and I hope it's gonna keep growing like that that I can actually live off my vlogging and vlogging finally you got this also let's say that this is the appetizer mm -hmm. oh already so spicy never have a really nice presentation here all this the calf carrot or whatever I'm gonna dive in my pad kapow now Mm. I'm not gonna lie, but this is so good. Like, really good. I miss Thai food. So much. The egg right here, they cook it like not completely cooked, which is good. I like that. Oh, they got some like um clam in there also. That's nice. Now, this. Wei Bian Pad Thai eating Pad Thai. 
first of all I don't like how um how saucy it is because I like mine pretty dry right this is actually <laughs> Pad Thai, honestly, not so much. The lime should help. If not, I'm not sure. One reason also though, I like my noodle really like a little chewy, not like this. One thing about Pad Thai in like um, Pad Thai abroad in other countries, let's say United States or Canada or whatever, they usually don't use tamarind sauce, which you're supposed to. They usually use like uh, ketchup. <laughs> Just to get it like a little bit sour and a little bit sweet, just like it's supposed to be, but it's not the same. It could be good also at the same time, the taste. It's just not original. But this one, I think this is original. Mm. All right. If you cook it long enough until the coconut milk turn into the oil itself so it's kind of separate the coconut milk and then push oil I don't know how to explain but that's supposed to be the way but this more like they didn't cook it long enough and at the same time yeah it's a little bit too creamy to me like a little too thick but it's good it's really good it tastes like green curry like the taste itself Vita is not the sponsor of this video. No one sponsored my video ever. This is my birthday. I'm gonna rate this with the birthday cake. Hot <laughs> kapal The stir fry seafood with some bezels. I give it five cakes out of five. Green curry though. I like the taste, but I don't like the texture of the, the curry much because it's too thick, it's like too much for me. Four cakes out of five. The pad thai. I don't like the texture of the noodle. It's too saucy for me. Lack of something I'm not too sure. Three cakes. The complimentary right here. Some tam, papaya salad. Didn't expect it. Oh, it's spicy and it's sour and it's sweet and it's a little bit salty, like it's flavorful. So, five cakes. Thank Jay. Jay, Jay, he sent a lot of things. He asked me if there's a free for me. This is it. Ask him. I was asking like because I ordered a lot of food and at the same time it's my birthday. <laughs> Deep fried ice cream. It's so. Oh. I think we get some Napoleon ice cream in there. Mm. Nice. I'm super full. Tika, thank you. Thank you. Bye, Laka. Thank you. We're done and I'm super full and I still have like three meals. <laughs> oh my final thought on this Thai Isan in Santiago, Chile. I think it tastes pretty good. I think it tastes like real Thai. The taste itself, like for all the dishes, I think it's really good. They're so kind, kind enough to like uh, let me try their papaya salad and also give me this deep fried ice cream which I think it's pretty nice also I think it's pretty fun to actually review something that I know and I even think uh, probably I'm gonna be reviewing some Thai food and make a playlist something like Thai food around the world that would be a good idea huh it's been quite a nice birthday like really laid-back birthday so far thank you so much for watching thanks for spending my birthday together here <laughs> in my 
video. Thank you guys so, so, so much. Muchas gracias a todo. That, like, wishing me happy birthday on both YouTube, on Steam, on Facebook, on wherever. Especially on YouTube. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Like, really. See you guys in the next video.